Hi, I'm Ed Spriggs, and this is my beautiful, fun wife, Willa. And we've been uh, attending Grace since 1999, and we've been married for 30 years this coming October 10th. We have four adult children. Um, our oldest son is from Ed's first marriage. We have two boys and a daughter, and we recently have one granddaughter. The struggles of raising a family uh, didn't really become a reality for me until around 1999 when I came to know Christ as my Savior. Uh, pri prior to that, I felt the weight of the responsibility of having a, a wife and children, but the struggle of raising children really fell largely on Willa. Once I came to know the Lord as my Savior, uh, that's when the struggle of leading a family really uh, became a reality for me. More than anything in the world, I wanted my kids to know and to love and to serve Jesus. One of our common prayers for our kids was that they would always get caught when they were doing something they shouldn't be doing. One Sunday morning, we were getting ready for church got a phone call from the police and one of our sons was down at the police station. Ed was in the shower at the time. I just went in and said, hey, one of our boys is at the police station. You need to go pick him up. Yeah, my son uh, was picked up for underage drinking and uh, he had fallen asleep in a parked car uh, when the police rolled up on him. But uh, on the way to pick him up, I just began praying because I knew that once I saw him, I was gonna to wanna to say things that would be destructive rather than helpful. Needless to say, it was a long morning for both of us. Once we returned home uh, that afternoon, it came time to have that dreaded, this dreaded conversation. And I wish I could say that uh, tempers and uh, Emotions were kept in check, but they were not. Um, harsh words were spoken and tempers flared. But in the end, I can remember saying or yelling at my son that I love you, I love you, I love you. And I have a decision to make. Either I can fight for you or I can let you go and let Satan have his way with you. I can remember a faint mumble it said, fight for me. In our house, we would have to have the conversation sometimes that church was not optional. Um, in Joshua 24, 15, it, it says that, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. There were times when we would go to church and our son would sit alone. And as a mom sitting there watching that, that was just a very difficult thing. Yeah, I remember Joe. Uh, on his last night of youth group saying that he hated us for making him go. He told us and the whole youth group that it was the right thing to do and he was glad we did it. Nothing your students doing is more important than being in church, learning of the love and the grace that God has for them. Not baseball or football or hunting or fishing or band or anything else they're involved in. If God's not a priority in your life, you'll never make Him a priority in their life. Don't be surprised when they reject your casual Christianity uh, once they graduate. Even though parenting is a struggle, and it definitely is a struggle, spend time leading your family because nothing else you're doing is more important. 